I'm Jock Baker, uh, General Manager of Small Air. We're on our way up into the Mallee uh, to Rainbow, visiting a, a client of ours. So Rainbow is where Small Air was established in 1974 and started out uh, as a plumbing business and uh, turned out to be uh, an air movement specialist business. Catch up with one of our clients uh, that's had some blow issues and um, have a chat with him to see how he's got, got on. We're here in uh, Rainbow, Victoria with uh, Russell Eckerman and Mick Eckerman here at Eckerman Farms. Uh, they've uh, purchased a, a 22 series turbo blower office. Uh, they're having issues with um, not having enough airflow uh, and revs dropping uh, at the end of the paddock when they're turning around. Um, Russ, how'd you go with uh, rev rise with this motor and uh, set up? Yeah, Jock, it's made a huge difference. Um, we were the old one we were running, the Morris fan, we were running about 46, 4700 revs, about maximum for our tractor. And on the ends, it was dropping six to 800 revs. And, um, you know, airflow on the tines was down to 15, 16 k's an hour instead of, you know, what you need, 22, 23. So, didn't know what to do. We tried all sorts, hydraulics, we've done everything. Um, seemed to have oil flow and pressure at the tractor. So I come to Jock and said, what can we do? And Jock said, well, this fan here should do it. We've put it on and we're running the revs on the fan now at about 3,200. Got heaps of airflow, you know, running 25 kilometer an hour winds at the boots. Uh, on the corners when the tines lift, it's hydraulic time machine. When the tines lift, it's only dropping back, you know, probably 200 revs now, perhaps a fraction more. So it's, you know, it's made a huge difference. It's just taken all the worry out of what we're doing. So if you have any issues with uh, your air setter fan, call us at Small Air, the air movement specialist.